this ball up, it'll be McAvoy up against Wits, but more importantly, Hodge v. Ablett shielding their eyes from the sun, about to pounce. And Ablett gets the clearance on cue. Puts the Gold Coast forward to a huge round of applause. And would have loved a mark from that. Two-metre Peter got up, but couldn't bring it down. And Barlow does keep it alive. Good tackle laid by Shields. And you're getting extra time these days as Lemons kick just hit the outside of his boot. Sexton caught, dumped, that's Paul. So prior opportunity is back at least come round three, but uh, you still have to dispose of it legally if you had prior. Burgoyne gets it from Mitchell. Strat. Just Top right the boundary, no. Outside the boundary, Frawley has to give it back to Lynch. It was an interesting drop of the ball from Stratton, the way he kicked that. So he thought he'd swing it on his right foot there. Yeah, poor star. Well, there were leads left, right and centre. They bomb it long to two-metre Peter. Miller flicked it out, but straight to Rioli. And around the body, quick snap, Martin! There's the start they were after. Great start there, Jack Martin, under a little bit of a doubt before the game. Looked like he may have hurt himself in the warm-up, but he's out there. Going forward there to kick the goal. What I've liked early, Lynchy, two-metre Peter. Peter Wright's been in a couple of contests, hasn't taken the mark, but he's at least been able to bring the ball to ground. And it looks like their forward pressure was set up beautifully there to set up the goal there by Jack Martin. Spot on, Brownie. A lot of people from the outside just see the key forwards as purely mark and kick goals as you roll, but certainly not. That was a really good contest. Great contest from Peter Wright. Drew the ball to the top of the goal square. Made a good contest to get it to the ground. And Jack Martin in great position. See if they can do the same. Ablett and Hodge side by side. This time Hodge got a hand on it first. Ablett the little flick back. Smith kicks the Hawks to half forward. Bruce, we well, handed that almost a throw to Hodge. Umpire gave him the benefit of the doubt. Hodge hacks it out of the air. Gunston in a race on. Thompson got there first. Barlow, chased by Rioli, not a guy you want chasing you, Saad. He's being chased. Ugly kick. Danger for the Gold Coast, because he tunneled there, May, by Amira. Umpire let it roll. Joyce. Swallow. Martin, so they're out of trouble. Well done, weathered the pressure from Hawthorne. Good play by Joyce, wasn't he? Yep. He drew the Hawthorne player. Well done for the young, by the young fella. Hall. We started last season with three best on grounds in the first three weeks. In fact, the Gold Coast Sun started with three wins from three last year. A lot different this year. Hardrow on the run, and speed is the thing that they could beat the Hawks with. Sexton on the move. Runs his way inside, 50. Heads to the goal square. Ablett should slot it and brings the crowd to life. I uh, expect to see his teammates get around Gaz here, and here they come as well, because he's had a big week. He's had, he had a poor game last week, but he got smacked unmercifully, and good to see him start with the first disposal of the game. And he's popped up and got the second goal on the board for the Gold Coast Suns, and a uh, very good start, good transition from deep defence. They uh, used the ball pretty well with composure there. Not a bad kick. I think the kick was weighted for right, but went over the top from Sexton to Ablett. Spot on, Lynchy, with your assessment of that. Composure out of the back half. We saw the pressure Hawthorne put from a forward point of view, but once they got it, they stopped, set themselves, picked their targets. When they found the space, bang, goal. That's why to do it. Wits doing well on the rock. Little flick back. Miller. Wits. Barlow. Ooh. Got his arms free. Waited for the tackler and then gave it away. Rosa had a piece of it. Joyce had a piece of it. Wits flicks it wide. Numbers around the ball, really a positive for the Suns at the moment. Hall long, Peter Wright, it's out of the jump. Lynch gathers a crumb, he bends it around. Gee, that would have been massive. Look, Dungeon, I'll tell you who started well, and you just called it to one, it's Joe Wits in the centre of the ground. He's been one of the few positives for the Suns. He's come up from Collingwood throughout the off-season, and his form's been OK, Lynch, even yep. though the Suns have had two losses. He's clear dominance in the ruck so far. He's won the first three centre clearances. Burton to McAvoy, got hands on it, dropped it. Joyce patted it to Wits, he patted it to Harbrow. And again, they've got good one-on-ones inside 50, just past the outstretched hand of Sexton and Ablett. Tackled late by Lemons. 
Hawthorne know they're in a game right now. Frawley gets it away. It'll be coming back. Suns players are coming down hard on the Hawthorne players in defence. Thompson told to kick it long. Lynch, the one who beckoned it long. Contest. Just past Peter Wright. Stratton. They well, try and rush it. They do into the post. Well, they only know they're in a game because they're watching at the moment the Hawks because they're not touching the ball. Disposal's 29 to 10 in favour of the Suns. Quick kick in. Mitchell to Piropolo, beaten by May. And again, they're away quickly, the Suns. Lynch, just beyond his range. Although, it's being allowed to play on. Drives it long. Peter Wright, back of the pack, knocks it down. He's got two. Jack Barton. Great play there. What I'm liking about the Gold Coast Suns early, Lynch, is they're getting in their forward half and they're keeping it locked in. The players have uh, got great intensity at ground level. There's a lot more uh, Gold Coast Suns players getting to the drop of the ball. First there every time. Look at the numbers then. Even though it's in their forward line, they ought to beat the Hawthorne players back there. Good kick there by Tom Lynch into a dangerous position. And as you said, this work here from Ryan, just make a contest. Get it forward. And Jack Martin, 30 minutes ago, we thought he was going to be a late withdrawal. It was in the hands of the physio. The coach looks stressed. I think the fans the, look stressed. Still got the magic spray of that, Lynch. That's right, the bucket of water with some ice. Vickery sent into the ruck now for the Hawks. Wits beat him as well. Wright comes in, gives it to Wits. He missed his fist with a handball attempt. Shields off the deck. Rough head. Title was 15. Took the mark. It's clear dominance around the ball. 14 to 7, the Gold Coast Suns in contested footy. Rioli to Smith. On the end goal hold now. He's slowing it down. Now he has to take his time because he had to pull the trigger a lot quicker if he was going to isolate one of his forwards in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Henderson goes all the way back to Frawley. And every Gold Coast player on the field ahead of him. Puts it to the hot spot. Rough head crashed the pack. Barlow crumbed it. Wits another touch. Caught by the ear. Gunston dragged it away. Up against the boundary and dragged out. It certainly started with the effort, the Suns. And there's a little bit of niggle just going on. A little spot fire starting to pop up around the ground. Some attention to Jager O'Meara at the moment as well. May scrambles it away. Burton won the Nap Rising Star nomination for his game last week, even though it was a loss to Adelaide. Gibson. Henderson. I'm looking to get on the outside of the sun zone. Clicks it wide to Gunston. Pokes it inside to Stratton. And have a rare shot at goal. Hold there, hold there. The back if he wants to. Hands it off to Smith, who can launch a ball. Pokes it to the pocket. Well worked. So Gunston, who was just beyond his range moments ago, is now within range and will kick from 50. Yeah, a little bit sloppy there by the Suns defenders. Rory Thompson. I uh, was dragged out of defence. He's uh, Gunston's direct opponent. He had to pick up one of the smaller Hawthorne players. They need to organise themselves better there. The Suns' defence and midfielders. Hasn't kicked a goal this season, Jack Gunston, coming off a 51-goal year last year. And missed that to the near side. So still hasn't kicked one. So only th that's their third inside 50 in these early stages. Seven for the Suns. A good delivery to Lynch as well. Got up high and he hurt Burton. Couldn't take the mark, but Burton's not getting up in a hurry. And without uh, being too nasty, I mean, from a big power forward point of view, if you can't mark the ball, you've got to make a strong contest, and that certainly was a strong contest from Tom Lynch. Jump knee into the back. He saw for a few weeks. Well, he's suggest. not getting up in a hurry. It's 17 v 18 at the moment. He's in a bad way. They might have to stop play here. The ball's close to Burton. It's about to roll away. He can barely get his way to the bench. Mitchell in the meantime. Back to Gibson. He is in a horrendous way at the moment. Smith. Whitecross back into the lineup this week. Still in the hands of the doctor is Burton in the dugout. That's almost a free kick against Miles. He got away with the ugly attempt at a handball. Miller attacked it, flicked it wide. But the Hawks might be down a man for the rest of the afternoon. Brand is back into the lineup this week. Another of the inclusions. McAvoy. A good ground and had the reach. They got the extra number forward. 
Kiopolo's by himself. Ben Dixon will give us the latest on Ryan Burton, but that didn't look good. Henderson floats it up. Rioli got up there, couldn't bring it down. Sexton. Swallow. Now, Frawley's the spare, 50 metres from Swallow here, so he has to go short. May. Saad gets some protection from Hodge. Extra man behind the ball for the Hawks, and they get in each other's way. White Cross and Brand weren't on the same page. Lynch got him high. Untidy bump attempt. Just a quick update, Ryan Burton. It's just gone down to the rooms, but was walking freely and uh, did look okay. So they'll assess him down the rooms. We can see some shots of him now just entering down. So it might have taken the wind out of his sails, but he may be okay. Yeah, let's hope that is only winded. It looked a lot worse than that. But it is tough when you can't get a breath in. You think you're going to die. Peter Wright. And that might sound extreme, but that's exactly it how you do feel. That is an uncomfortable situation. You know it's coming in about 30 or 40, 40 seconds, but it feels like five minutes. As Gaz just having a spell in the dugout. He's got off to a pretty good start, Gary Ablett. Swallow. Saad pokes it to the pocket. Good use, Fiorini. Again, Wits is good tap work there, Dwayne. Tapped it down to the Suns player. Clear clearance. Back into the lineup this week, Fiorini goes long, goal square. Hawks with the numbers back. Lynch almost out mark two. Rosa feeds it out. Tackle laid by Vickery, White Cross. Harbrow really made the ground to cause the spoil. Great speed. And from back Harbrow in again. Again. Swallow. Still going. Third possession in the string. And lace out to oh, Miller. That, that, was that? that was the best of them. And they're still going. Hands it off. Long launch, but it's wide from the boot of Sexton. And tidy finish to what was a spectacular passage of play. Yeah, Rodney E just uh, chewing on the fingernails there. Good in, Harbrow. Uh, veteran, uh, veteran in. So he'll, uh, he'll really help with their leadership across the field and just to get the ball moving off half back. And that's one of the Sun's strengths when they're up and going, Lynch, is with, with Harbrow and Adam Sard especially, yeah. they can get out in the clear. They'll move it very quickly into their forward 50. We saw it round one after a quarter time. Sard get up and going into about 10 bounces. He, was, uh, he certainly did work hard in that round one game. Hemmed Hawthorne in nicely here as well. And a ball up, 80 from the Gold Coast goal. Well, we spoke pre-game about um, Hawthorne when they're up and going, use the uncontested mark to chip through the uh, opposition press, and they haven't been able to do that. So that's a big credit has got to go towards the Suns for their defensive pressure, and they're very mobile in that zone. Alistair Clarkson, 0-2, the Hawks come into this game. Mitchell, Vickery. Working it around Stratton. Miles caught, gone. Oh. Lynch wrapped him up and let him know about it as well. He pushed his face into the dirt. Vickery's dropped Lynch. Just silly. Probably high risk from both players, really. Tom Lynch didn't need to go on with that. Get that reversed. I like the fact there's a little bit of aggro in it. Oh, there's plenty of aggro out there, no doubt about that. And nothing will pick a big forward up than a big strong tackle like that after a, he struggled the last couple of weeks. But uh, if he puts this through, I think they might go a little bit berserk. <laughs> they will just go, I think. They're certainly up and about. And they want to make a statement after being smacked in the press over the last couple of weeks with two disappointing efforts. And this is their co captain. 66 goal season last year, but only three goals in the first two games this year. Got plenty on it, but it's to the near side. I really liked about that. Uh, the, the Hawthorne players were looking for someone to kick to down the field, but the Gold Coast Suns defenders really organised Lynchy, taking the one-on-one -on -one contest, not going into a, a, an easy zone. They had the real discipline and accountability yeah. to go after their man and take him out as an avenue. This is once again forced long, which is a win for the Suns. Langford, his father's up here having a look. Hodge, sidestep, two sidesteps. Ablett came at him, but still again there. Ablett didn't look like he was keen to tackle. Bruce Long, now Roughhead could go the whole journey. Yeah, There's no one right. ahead of him. He's being chased down. Poppy to the square, gets it, goes, goals. As all good small forwards do, find a yard when you see it. Well. Forward 50 open and roughly just uh, good use. But started with Hodge, ducked around about three different players off half back. Assessed the situation, did roughy, and just put it out in front of Piopolo. 
And that was a beautiful pass. Great build-up off half-back by one of their superstars in Luke Hodge. And finally, they got that kick right, didn't they? They've been a yep. bit sloppy off half-back, the Hawks players, but Hodge nailed that kick and away they went. Robolo gets a rest. Mitch also having a sit-down. Alice Clarkson, 13th season as an AFL coach for Alistair Clarkson. Oh, and gone it's down. On. Yeah. Yeah, there's high contact there. So, the man who did it was Lyons. I'm quite having a word to him. I think it was a bit accidental. It was a bit of two and throwing there. But... Shields. Just oh, telling you, it slid up high off the shoulder. It's an open hand to the chops. Yeah, we saw a couple of Melbourne players do similar stuff last week. That was a bit more accidental, though, Dwayne. Wait and see what they've got to the replay on that. Yeah, it depends on what further part he plays in the game, and we expect that he's okay, so insufficient force could be a factor. White cross. Well, you're spot on, Dwayne. I mean, what we see a lot now is the medical report being significant. Open hand. Yeah. I mean, you break, you break a jaw with that. You're yeah. missing six. You are. Well, exactly. The medical report will be the difference there. Otherwise, it's just a slap in the chops, and yeah. you should get away with it. Insufficient force, but... Uh, be anxious for a couple of days, I would have thought. Yeah, he'd be hoping that he's not concussed and he can take further part in the game. Rose a caught, gone. Hawks on the way back. And there's still some push and shove. Yeah, Langford and Ablett at it here. The both clubs are under pressure. They haven't won a game, so it's going to be a bit of physicality, a bit of stuff going on behind the ball. And they're going to, no doubt, they'll be targeting Gary Ablett as well. There'll be a few sledges out there, I there would was. have thought. There was then, I think. <laughs> they'll give him the gas. Gaz has got a plenty of comebacks. He well rehearsed, I would have thought, over the years. <laughs> <laughs> so Rioli. He's on it. To keep the momentum rolling. Hawthorne's way for two goals in a row after the Gold Coast kicked the first three. Struck his boot well. That's delightful. Yeah, beautiful kick from Rioli, and importantly. Their stars have got involved over the last couple of minutes and been well and truly keys to the last two goals. Here's the tackle. And just Rosa couldn't get the arm free to get the ball away. Not sure if he's... Do he have uh, prior opportunity sure about that. At least they're out. The, the Hawks, they lift their tackling pressure and they've started to win around the foot. They've balanced things up around the footy, Lynchy. They were blown out in the first 10 minutes by the Suns around the footy, winning that contested ball. But they've started to even things up. Well, they were about minus 20 on disposals and back to minus five now, so yeah. they've certainly got back in control. Ugly bounce, and they'll recall it. Enough said. Just reinforced uh, the defence too. They look like they've got a couple of spare defenders, Hawthorne. Hodges in, inside their defensive 50. Wits favoured by the ball, tossed in the air. Ablett gets the clearance. Joyce, Barlow. Lynch up early. Two players, Paul... Their own man, though. Lynch had a good piece of that. Gibson tried to shuffle it through to Hodge. Missed him. Swallow. Hall. Ablett. Darts away from Hodge. Went for material in the pocket, but it ricocheted. Sexton knocks it down. Swallow. Gunson thought he had it. Swallow stole it from him. Hall. High. Hits a good spot. Frawley read it well. This is where they want to move the ball quick because the Suns have time to set up now. So they're been really on the money here, the Suns, just saturating that corridor where Hawthorne like to kick it on the 45. And they've done it well again here, Dicko. Again, slow, at, at worst, they've slowed up Hawthorne. McAvoy attacks it. Got it. Good well. And very reliant on contested grabs in those long kicks. Anderson. Not a bad crowd in, maybe 10,000 in. Yep. A few Hawk fans have made the journey. Faithful Suns fans that have stuck with their team. Miles. That's a protection from Gibson. Heads wide. Barlow, well, he attacked White Cross his arm and got away with it then. I'm, Pretty they've relaxed that rule a bit. Yeah, they have. Pretty got a, a touch on the ball as well, but his eyes were firmly on White Cross. McAvoy and Wits. Lankford tagging Abbott at the moment. 
Ball knocked down to Mitchell. Langford nearly got a touch on Ablett, but left it behind. Goes back in. Well, spoke to Alistair Clarkson pre-game. He kind of had a plan if Ablett had an impact early. And it was to put a man on him. Well, I think Langford probably started on the bench as well. So he saw had a couple of touches early, Ablett, and got Langford straight onto him. Yeah, he's been finding plenty of the footy will Langford the first two weeks. Sometimes he turns the ball over. His kicking can let him down. So I think he's well suited to that defensive accountable midfield role. Sad. Trouble. But fortune favours the brave here. Joyce gets away with it. Drives it long, half forward. Sexton has had an impact early. Peter Wright. Back to Sexton, half held. Hodge used his bulk and dragged down. <laughs> what about going back? Just panicked into that one. 50. Alex Sexton just a hole in Luke Hodge. Good to see him back, Luke Hodge. And not sure Hawthorne would have dropped him in hindsight for round one. They ended up losing that game to the Bombers. He is so valuable for them. Not only kicks marks, handballs, but his leadership. Flicks it wide. Burgoyne. Gunston in a good spot. He's already had a side up from that exact spot. He's just got off the chain a couple of times, Jack Gunston. He did start the centre bounce previous. He did start a loose man defence. Pokes it in the pocket to Roughhead. Tougher angle. But distance certainly won't be a worry. Derek. Goes inside to Gunston. So Gunston was kind of in that spot when he gave it to Roughhead. Yeah. Well, he was. I think Sexton felt the umpire called play on, but it was play on from the Roughhead kick. Yeah, lucky he didn't grab him. Yeah, he did. Well, he looked back. I think the umpire let him off a little bit because he went over the mark. But he's first. There was a time he just didn't miss this. Yep. First of the game, first of the year. Again, got plenty on it, but it's across the face. And just scrapes through four behind. And Ryan Burton's just back on the boundary line now, boys. So uh, it looks okay and looks probably set to just come back on the ground. That's good news. So it most probably just uh, a nasty bruise under the rib cage there mm. on the left hand side. Yeah, well, and I've, took the wind out of him. I think about, uh, I think twice about uh, standing in front of Tommy Lynch next time, though. Well, that's where you, leave, you lose him in the lights. That's right. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> Lynch goes wide. Gunston had a chance to do a Tom Lynch there, but he thumped it away. And Protected himself, didn't put the knee in. Four minutes left, opening term. Good opening quarter for the Gold Coast. They've established the fact that they're more competitive this week. Wits wins it. Smith. Up against the boundary. Joyce and Pew up below. Joyce fisted it back, but a horrible spot to fist it to. Shields. Well, an uncharacteristic fumble by Bruce. And pilots at roll. Matera. Martin. Over the head of Peter Wright. And it just rolled out before Caden Brand could make something of it. Saw Matera bring the ball out there. He's the forward pocket for the Suns. I like the smaller fellas uh, for the Suns uh, in the forward line. Like yeah. their work rate, Lynchy. They're prepared to get down the other end of the ground. Put pressure on the Hawks. Good right. experience uh, defence, a, a spoil, body spoil from Gibson on that occasion on right. Ablett off the deck. Dicko. Well, Ryan Burns just back on the ground into that contest. Just want to let you know that uh, it all looks okay. That's the Clarkson downstairs and plenty going on off yep. the ball. Langford with support from Smith and then Swallow came in to help and Drop Langford on his backside, still going on. Miller, May. Stratton in a good spot. And that's, a, that's a good sign for Hawthorne. Put the pressure on the kicker out of the stoppage. The dump kick goes forward where they always have their spare. And then they, they launch from their defensive 50. Hodge. Burt. Looks okay. It's amazing. Miles. Hodge again. This is better build up for Hawthorne. They're just working into their game nicely now. Mitchell. One of the best ball used teams in the comp for the last decade, if not probably ever. Rough head, no arm slap free there. 
Thompson. Harbrow. Have to use that place. Rosa. Over the head of Lynch. Made it tough for him. He had to go back. Hodge crumbed it well. Hodge has is, is gone back to play in the vicinity of Tom Lynch, Dwayne. So just to help out there with James Frawley. He doesn't want to get stuck in a one-on-one -on -one with Lynch. Burgoyne drives it long. He's got the spare man out wide. Fantastic delivery. Henderson hits the square. Rough head down there. Fisted away. Chihuahua and Rioli waiting to crumb it. it is. Ablett comes at him. Rioli tried to get a handball out. Ablett waiting in the spot. This will be coming back on the four. And a good Rioli's into Ablett now. Langford put pressure on him as he, he kicked the ball. It's not a bad result, though. Gary Ablett kicking that out of bounds in the full. So, Hawks will not get a quick uh, rebound. And Cyril, just giving a little bit of gas. My big fist. And again, Gary Ablett can't tackle. Chuopolo had a chance there to be tackled over the line. Gaza couldn't put him down. Oh, and that's out on the full again. He's appearing for a touch. They're not going to play that, though. Um, and I think since Gaz hurt his shoulder midway through 2014, he, he hasn't been able to use that shoulder in the tackles. Just uh, whether it's 100% so, or not. Sometimes you get into a bad habit as well, don't you? Yep. Even though it might be 100% fit, you get into bad, bad habits with your tackling technique. Hodge just pokes it up for the leapers. Roughhead turned his back on it. McAvoy, Bruce tried to go out of the air. Oh. Henderson, great smother. Swear. Still danger here for the Gold Coast. Look at that for congestion. 20 players almost in the goal square. Kick around the body oh. is Gunston. An appeal for a touch. And they'll check it. Gunston, Gunston might have given it up. <laughs> he uh, should play cricket for Australia. I know Adam Gilchrist was on us, but I don't know about his footy. Jesse Hogan did it last week as well. He, he conceded that it was touched, so the umpire changed the decision. He's got a cricket heritage, of course, Jack Gunston. Oh, Gilly. I'm not sure Alistair Clarks would agree with this. Oh, like, honestly, not the reckon? best policy. Well, I just think it all is fair and love and war that's, at the end of the that's, day. That's unlike the 19s to be able to be honest on <laughs> You reckon, Dicko, if you had a chance of snagging one, you weren't going to offer it an out to the umpire? If that's I would have celebrated. If that's late in the grand final, do you think he's uh, owning up to it? Well, if that's his morals, that's his morals. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, Dwayne. <laughs> Long kick, and out on the full again. Just to update you, there is no breeze blowing uh, to that boundary line at all. It's just a little bit of pressure on the kick. That's three in a row. That put two of them. 50 seconds left. Brand sprays that. Rioli almost made something of it. And sure. how confident can Gunston actually be that there was definitely <laughs> that was touched. touched? Well, he hit his quad, but to me, that's not unsociable Hawks. You liked them better when they were nasty. I did. They won premierships during that play. Of course, Rosa, Swallow, well, no. hacked Is out of the area by Lions. Magnet again. And Brand sees it out. So 34 seconds left in what's been an enjoyable opening turn. The Gold Coast Suns, who've never, ever beaten the Hawks. Hawks are eight from eight against the Gold Coast, trying to hit back after a horrible couple of weeks. They're threatening to lead at quarter time. Touch ball, mate. Time to go. No one came at him and heard the call. Swallow. Martin looked around. There was no one there. He should have just gone for it. Langford and Rosa. Swallow. He's had a great first term, Swallow. Nine seconds left. Martin put his head down. Langford kept that in initially. Yeah, ten disposals for David Swallow. Had the, smother, winner. had the smother in the goal square as well. Yeah, he's hard. Yeah, he's in the early days, he got compared to a, a Michael Voss in his attack on the footy. That's a pretty big rap. Well, that was one of the downsides of a young team playing in the oh. AFL. He had to play in the middle for a couple of seasons. Short throw in, ends the quarter. And the Gold Coast Suns and Gary Ablett under pressure all week have responded. Alistair Clarkson... And the Hawks also 0 and 2. Can they respond in the second term? Six. Uh, and you're right, it just stabilised a little bit. Had a little bit more precision coming out of the back half. Vickery went into the ruck, Lynch. He just yep. changed things up a little bit there. Got McAvoy back into the game. 
The rough head started to come into the game. Jack Gunston touched the ball a couple of times. So the key players for the Hawks are able to get into it. So the Hawks, plus 23 for Marks in that in that quarter. The Gold Coast Suns also keeping Jake O'Meara to just two possessions to quarter time, and he's averaging 30 possessions a game with his new team. McAvoy in the ruck, flicked it down. Ablett tried to flick on, and they get away with it. Handed out wide to the runner, Bowes. He can go close here. Hall, she struck it well. It's sailing long. That's out of here. Yeah, we saw that quite a lot last year, didn't we, Lynch? Yeah. Aaron Hall burst onto the scene. This was probably the biggest highlight of his game was his ability to burst out of the front of these centre, centre square clearances and run on and kick long goals. So yeah. We saw him get out here. He can get north of the nut occasionally. and uh, <laughs> But if he can take that 50-metre arc, he can kick the ball a long way, and that's when he's at his best. If the midfield's up and going, getting the share of clearances and contested yeah. ball, the byproduct is a very good game from Aaron Hall. So great work, very good start to this second term. Well, that's right. The uh, supporting cast needs here. They tackle well and pressure well. Guys like Aaron Hall will come into the game. And you can bank every week. You're going to get a big effort from Took Miller. Once again, he was involved. Fantastic. McAvoy got first hand to it. Last ball up. But the Suns got the clearance. Well... See it tossed in the air, the second bad bounce of the afternoon. Early leap, McAvoy down, O'Meara, Langford, Gunston and Puopolo. Knocked away by Saad, Harbour ducked into it, so no high free. Smother, Rioli, got in May's way, Rioli might reap the reward. Gave it up to Mitchell, didn't strike it well. Stephen May see Surioli then. He kicked it straight into it. Did he hit about the stomach? There it is. Just yeah, we'll try to kick it through. Oh. Let's hit him in the chin. Miller. Tried the one two. And it did work with Colin Jasney. McAvoy. Stratton. Mitchell. And Rioli. Can he get the jump? Piopolo behind him. Ball flicked to the back. Sartre's got the speed just as quick as Rioli. Caught though by White Cross. Gone. Oh, pinged him as well. Now, that reinforces the deliberate rule. Sard, when he was about to pick that up, realised he was outside the square, could not knock it straight over the, the goal line, so he had to pick it up and was always going to be in trouble. Red hot on holding the ball. First game of the season for Brendan White Cross back into the lineup this week. Sort of ways going to bend it around. Missed to the near side. Still, it amazes, it still amazes me the amount of players yeah, it is. that it is now. Need to pick it up. Well, he's tried to fend off, so yeah. there's your prior. So good, strong tackle from White Cross. It still amazes me the amount of guys that to kick and try and snap on their left foot. Lynch. I wonder how much practice actually gets done at training, yeah. snapping on the left foot. But every time we get out into a game, it seems to be the uh, the new norm now. The old banana kick's gone missing. I wouldn't try that. I'd just take the point with a drop punt, I think. <laughs> Rather than the risk of missing the foot altogether. <laughs> Good smother on Mitchell's boot. The rolls out of play. Barlow put his body on the line there. It's been a good pick-up for them. Michael Barlow, the listed free agent. He's finding plenty of footy here. Guys like Michael Barlow and Matty Rose, they need to bring that leadership to the table for these young sons. Been out of the frying pan to the fire for Barlow from Fremantle. For the under siege Gold Coast this year. Pollard Jasny. Wits. Back to Jasny. Gives it over. The twist and turn. Lions gave it back again. At least their ball use is better, Martin. I've never heard the abbreviated version of Pollard Jasny. <laughs> <laughs> That's good it's though. Good though. Yeah. Stick. <laughs> McAvoy, rough head. <laughs> Hodge. Rough short. Mitchell. Good as he want with this kick. Oh, beautifully oh, weighted. Open forward line. He gives it to the man of the moment, Jager O'Meara, who knows where they are on this ground, even though hasn't played a lot of football here in the last two years. No. Here's, Here's the Bears. There's a few in tonight. That's good to see, the passion from the Sun supporters. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes being accused of being a little bit nice, the Queensland supporters. Still getting a doing. 
wide, it's drifting back, touched on the line or a goal, touch and go. Well, they're playing on the Suns. I think at first look, I don't think it got over the line, but... Uh, well, that's interesting time. because the Suns are away, so if that's no score, then the Suns have been held up Jeez, for no reason. disappointed if this is not over the line. That's well over the line. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Good call. And great uh, kick from Jay Gromira, as you said. Actually spent five years here on the Gold Coast. He came up as a 17-year-old, I'm pretty sure, first year. No games the last two years. And played every game the first two. Yep. No games in the next two. Finished up with 44 games. And uh, they were disappointed to uh, see him go. And it was these sort of reasons, quality player, whether it be in the contest or using the ball by foot. Strange that the Hawks didn't have a tall player on the line. They backed him in. Little Paul Puopolo, the man entrusted with protecting. And when a kick's going from 50, it is unusual. Interesting, uh, Aaron Hall's positioning, standing way out of half forward flank for the Suns. Just trying to drag Luke Hodge out of that oh, corridor. Yes. So Hodge is trying to have a bob each way to hold his position, but it needs to be very aware of Hall. Here he comes now, back into it. Still Langford tagging Ablett, virtually wrapping him up. There you go, Ablett was wrapped up by Langford. Umpire off the ball saw it, Ablett free. No doubt the umpires will have spoke about that matchup quarter time. Hodge stands under that. Lynch attacked it, got it down front and square. Martin couldn't break it away. Lynch, slick hands. Oh, Lynch goes through like a freight train. Hall, oh, she spent that before it earned it. Had to go back and get it. Through Lynch, Vickery. Right spot, right time. Just bangs it away, makes it somebody else's problem. Thompson pursues it. Barlow should get there first. It rolled away. Still got it. Good enough. Puopolo. Got a Jasny, straight through him. Just a poke pass. Peter Wright, one grab, not the second. Gibson oh. will be filling to his pack, surely. Play on advantage, Miller. Drake Miller would have been furious if he didn't get that ball. He's on his, he's on his own for a day. Josh Gibson arguing. But the Vickery pressure kick out into space and some good work from Cole Jasny in a contest and here's the free kick against Gibson well, did he over take, Jack did he, Lemons. Did he take the, the legs of Gibson out? Well, it's a, it's a touch and go because I think Lemons has gone to ground. I think it's a, an in the back, that one. He's gone to ground with the ball after he touched the ball, so I think that's fair enough. Good goal from Miller is that the blinder. Yeah, I don't I think the job. rule was brought in for that, the taking the, leg, the legs out. It was more the slide. And with the, the legs on, the Hanbury won in the grand final. Yeah. I think that was fair enough. That's fair enough according to the rules if you've got possession of the ball, but if you haven't got possession of the ball, that's when it's still not a free kick. Omira gets it out. It's tough to and There's another one. White Cross took the legs out. Held without it. Gold Coast. Gold Coast free. Well, Cole Jasny's been tough in the last couple of contests. Done it extremely well. Pretty a disappointing year across halfback last season. Here's the one. He was already on the ground, yeah. so that, that one there is allowed if you're already on the ground. It's one thing to disagree with the rule, that's fine, but if the rule is there, you can't just Go pick and choose it. when you yeah. play it. That's, a, that's why it's such a tough game to umpire. There's still a lot of grey in each decision. Arbor ah, wide, Joyce. May in the middle needs to be good. Oh, I had to go at the ball. He waited. Piopolo crept up behind him. Flicked out to Mitchell. He dropped it, but no prior, so not ball. All up in the middle. Took Miller having a huge game for the Suns. He's up to 17 disposals now. Clear winner on the ground. What are you, Gunston? How does he get this up? Uh, oh, he gets away with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Thompson had a claw in that one. Shields. Lemons. But since Took Miller arrived here at the club, he came up as Vic Metro uh, under 18 captain. He's been a quality player, got opportunity probably a little early with so many injuries in through the midfield, but uh, an absolute class act that you know he's going to work hard week in, week out. 
Hall already kicked one, bursting inside 50. That looks pretty good off the boot. He's got two for the quarter. Once, once again, players like Aaron Hall are going to get a great result on the back of some tough work in the contest. Witt's great tap down to Swallow has been extremely good. And that was a nice little release handball from Fiorini. And uh, Paul's just slotted that one through with the outside of his right boot, really. So that's a great goal. And he's got that speed to put a gap between himself and his opponent. Huge goal and an important goal. So Hawthorne suddenly found themselves with five in the square for this ball up. Ablett came on. Langford came on with him. Yeah. And Langford ran into the square. <laughs> And had to kick somebody out. Well, they're a lot more relaxed with that rule than they used to be many years ago. Wits bangs it on the boot. And no that's the back. Stratton under some pressure. Lemons, he flicked it up to Brand. He bangs it high. Barlow should get there. Under it. Mitchell, good contest. Oh, Barlow. Great grab. Alice Clarkson started to be getting concerned about uh, Jared Wits' dominance in the middle. Heads in the Lynch direction. He gets up early. Gibson thumped it down. Boundary line there if he wants it. Clear hit out to advantage dominance by Wits. He's just giving their sons first use. They're able to get creative now, the Gold Coast Suns midfielders, Lynchy. They're able to get on the move, which is really tough to defend. Let's watch again here. Peter Wright in the ruck this time for the Suns against Vickery. Both got a piece of it. Joyce, got his arms free. Bartlow had it and lost it. Mitchell through traffic, Gibson, Henderson. Witz comes hard, she made back with the flight, but he left her behind and the Hawks had the spare man. Gunston, there's a race on. on one. Rioli's the one. Harbrow, Rioli, almost beat them both. Knocked it to Joyce though, caught. Too high. On chin. Yeah. high tackle. Two on one with Rioli being the one. I think we're all back on Rioli there. There's plenty of space around. Sexton to go back and get it. Great run again from Miller. He works hard, Lynch. Yeah, works extremely hard. Burgoyne shut him down. Didn't have prior, so it's a ball up. Sean Burgoyne just keeps on keeping on. 34 years of age, turns 35 this year. Also noticeably the Suns, they've got terrific shape around the ball at a stoppage or congestion. And they're just getting their hands like we're going to see. Oh, Vickery kicks it out in the heat. But one thing they've done is they've got shape around the ball. They've got lots of numbers out ratioing Hawthorne, and they're using it beautifully by foot and hand. Ben Dixon, 200 game Hawk downstairs. Thompson short. Well, Jasney back. Joyce put Barlow under the hammer. They get out of trouble. Barlow. Little flick to the back from Lyons. Back to Barlow. Martin used his body. He tunneled Burton a little. And accidentally out of play from Frawley. It's Tommy Lynch there. The ball is under six disposals. Ball on 20 with Frawley. Well, he beats him in the contest that time. Frawley six disposals as well. Actually, the flick to the back was good from Wits. And Swallow was the beneficiary again. Oh, Sexton sprays that, but that'll do. It's not deliberate if well, you're if trying to keep it in. It's one of the more dominant displays I've seen for a Ruckman oh, yeah. or Jared Wits today. Just the clear dominance with his hand, hitting go, all go, directions. Dominate. And in the lead up to the um, hall goal out of the centre, the one again to Swallow. 40 games for Collingwood, just the two last year for Wits. Stratton kicked it out of the air. May got up high, but left it behind. Vickery beelined it. May flicks it away. Joyce, deft deflection. Good hard attack from both teams at the moment. Bruce laying that tackle. Sexton long. Lynch under oh, Ablett. Ablett's down off play. To Ablett. Now Martin plays on and kicks his third. Will it be allowed? Yep. Yeah, the umpires allowed that. Shane McInerney is called advantage and play on. Good contest there. I think it was against Frawley. Yeah. It was over, it was over Lynch's shoulder. It was a good contest there at the top of the goal score. Jack Martin played on and took the advantage. Kicked the goal. Always a bit of a risk that far out from goal. But Gary Ablett, uh, well, we just see Lex top right. Watch his top, top right of screen. Ablett. Oh. That's a big block by Hodge.
and Gaz went straight at uh, Luke Hodge after he got up and so did a number of his teammates. Little block off the ball from, from Hodge. They're definitely targeting him, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. We might touch on that at half time about the similar tactic we used to have at the Brisbane Lions about just focusing on one player. Not doing anything illegal, but making sure he knew he was in for a very tough game. Looping Hamilton Matera oh, back into the lineup this week. Looks a little rusty. First game of the year. Hodge at half back. Miles. Vickery stands under it. Thompson. Big fist. Tried to get it out. Guapolo kept it alive initially. Just to expand on that, Brownie, as you know, Dwayne, we used to put a... Lee Matthews would put a name up on the board. Like that, Rewalt? <laughs> no, no. Well, actually, it wasn't, no. You know, yeah. um, quality player well, like that. But okay. you'd, you'd follow him. Right. Every time you walk, uh, went past him, you had put on a, a fairly solid bump, right. but nothing illegal at all. But every time everyone went past the person, as we're seeing with Ablett here, as he gets knocked off the ball here by Hodge. Hodge wasn't looking. His name wasn't on the board, I can you. Burgoyne. I think that was Mal. <laughs> Short pass to Shields. <laughs> Cop one on the way through from Lemons. What is going on behind the ball? Don't worry about that. What are you feeling between the two clubs? Well, they're both zero and two. And the loser of this will be, if not bottom, equal bottom. Gunston takes off, floater out on the floor. Gold Coast, the bottom of the AFL ladder right now. But the Hawks, only above them on percentage. And Alistair Clarkson has got to pass John Kennedy later this season for the most games ever coached for Hawthorne. He is an icon of the Hawthorne Footy Club. And right now he's under pressure. Hall shrugs the tackle, got away, ran his full measure and hit Swallow lace out. Nothing irritates coaches more than broken tackles like that. Lynch, gee, O'Meara had a knee in the back. Lemons comes up with it. He wants Matera. Out wide, Burgoyne, Matera. Matera shut down by Burgoyne. He was keen to get it out. Essentially, look where the, uh, the score sources. Uh, the Gold Coast Suns kicked five goals from... Hawthorne turnover. It's been a real problem for Hawthorne the first couple of weeks. Lynch is so unlike Hawthorne to get scored against on the turnover. It's a reflection of their kicking skills. and just don't have the time and space at the moment, the Hawks. Hawks wearing that black armband in honour of the Kennedy family. Ball up inside 50. Of course, Rodney Eade, former Hawthorne star, 229 games and four premierships as a Hawk. Rodney Eade coaching against them. Mira back to Burgoyne, slick hands to Burton. Didn't strike it that well. McAvoy hunts it. Had a piece of it. Smith going nowhere, lays the tackle. He was driving the bus for the players on the way in, Isaac Smith. Didn't know he was the designated bus driver for the team, but it was a bizarre thing to see. How big was the bus? Big coach, was it? I hope he's got a commercial Jeez. license, otherwise you've chucked him straight under the bus. Got a double axle. <laughs> I tell you what, I got out of the way of the bus. Amira White. Famously, Wally Lewis used to drive the really? bus for Queensland, the state yeah. of origin bus. Saad, twist and turn, Mr. Miller. And down on the full. This is where Hawthorne's got to use a bit of width. They're just uh, being kept quite skinny by the Gold Coast Suns. So the long kicks down the line aren't working. You can see they're trying to get their wicket keeper there, but that wasn't on either, and another high bomb. Yeah, into the clouds. Rioli got up early, but way too early. Langford crumbed it, got it forward. Hall should get there. Sees it out. Oh, it's it's Isaac Smith. Well, as we spoke about late in that first quarter, they started to dominate with the uncontested marks, getting their running game up and going. They were plus 23. Now they're plus 15 in the, the marking department. So that's another re reflection that the Suns' defensive pressure has been really good, forcing the ball long down the line. They can't get their hands on the footy either. The Suns about 184 disposals compared to Hawthorne's 138. So clear dominance there. Umpire McInerney running into Swallow there. Looked a little hurt. I think we forget how much of an impact Swallows had this year coming back into the midfield. Played six games over the last couple of years since being their club champion in 2014. Yeah, can they retain him? That's where the story on helps you that during the week. Yeah. 
Well, again, it's a big gap. as we're talking, the more successful you are, see the umpire right of frame here, just runs in the back of Swallow. Oh, just caught one over. He didn't have the whistle in his mouth or anything like that. <laughs> Swallowed the pee. <laughs> Congestion again. Langford got free. Rolls it past Gunston, yep. past Buopolo. Vickery's turn. Needed the slick hands. Buopolo back to Vickery. Oh, oh, or a miracle. Oh, that's hard nice. anyway. Look at that, Vickery. It's certainly been a struggle for him so far. Really kicked that. That would have been a miracle goal. One of the rare players to be a whipping boy at two clubs. Ty Vickery at the moment. He's working hard to get to this one. Still hasn't been able to get too many marks. Ben Dixon into the contest there. Here's the uh, Vickery kick and just a touch from Joyce. Good work from Joyce. A lot of look at Joyce back there too, Lynchy. It's a bit of a hard nut. Pretty composed as well. Both right can contend to drop it at their feet at the moment. Mitchell. So last year, Lynch with Hawthorne contested football was a real problem. Now Lewis and Mitchell are gone. Tom Mitchell is coming from the Suns at Omira, but today they're only minus 20 in that contested footy, so the Suns are dominating around these clearances. It is, but they used to so they lose the clearances, lose contested ball, but they put so much, there's something wrong with this side. That's seven out in the fools yeah. over in this area. Yeah. But they was, put so much pressure around that stoppage. It was usually the dump kick to half back, and that's where they set up their game right. from. But uh, yeah, the pressure's not in there either, so they'd be very disappointed with the start of this season in that department, amongst others. Burton spanks it long. Hugh Hopolo. It's normally his forte. Riola stayed down. Fantastic tackle, but no prior opportunity. So a ball up. Certainly not the weather that's forcing the ball out this way. It is a perfect evening for football right now. Poppy understandably launching himself out at, at that one after the big grab at the MCG last week. Ablett. Ball bounced kindly for him. He just called it over, and the Sharon bounced for him. Wits. Turn Brand inside out. Needs a handball option. Sidestep. Oh. Caught the big man. No free. Burgoyne now caught. So that can't be ball. Stratton turns it over. Picked up by Fiorini. This is the near side. Bad decision. Should have been holding the ball against Wits. Yeah, all day. They've definitely <laughs> freed up the prior opportunity, haven't they? They're worried Alistair Clarkson. Well, it should have been a free kick for thinking he was going to get around. Oh, get he might have got a hand. He might have got a fist to that. Oh, he had to release and handball to Shawnee Lemons over the side, but thought he'd duck around himself. Gunston protected that nicely. Took the mark in front of Thompson. Inside. Martin knocks it away. Thompson back inside 50. Matera and Brand. Brand a good fist. Spanked it toward the boundary. And Gibson accidentally knocks it over. I know I've made the point a few times, but uh, they really want to come inside, you'll see. And this is Martin just Thanks. underneath. Uh, Thanks, ben. Nice little uh, altercation there. But that kick inside by Stratton, just uh, trying to force something out of nothing. And the numbers are still there for Gold Coast. Short throw in. Matera read it. Three Hawks on the goal line. Force behind. If you just joined us... Gold Coast Suns kicked the first three goals of this game. They led by 19 points early. Led by six points a quarter time. Still hold a handy break now. Entering time almost. The booze for Amira. Kick smothered. Again, with superb. Beelined it. Peter Wright. Hall. He's kicked two goals in this quarter. Hodge. Mopping up across half back. This is 11th disposal, Luke Hodge. Such an important player back there. Oh, a little juggle from Mitchell. And put it at the feet of Gibson. Got it back. Mopped up that little mess. Burton short. Looking for Miles. Maybe yeah, Gunston's by himself. So he's got Gunston on his own on 50 within range, but it's been a little jittery at goal. So he sets it up for Rough Head. Saad in the one on two. Ruffy got up. Saad did brilliant. And collected and went. Well, this would be a good race. Puopolo can run. 
Saad, oh, we off. burn him off and Puopolo gave it up. Still going. Saad still going. He cooked Puopolo. Oh, who was that? Martin, can they capitalise? Well, if Lynch slots this, it would be awesome. Well, Martin's oh, still going. That was an unbelievable run on it. Well done, well waited there. Waited for Lynch to come back at him. Lynch was trying to get back towards goal. He couldn't get behind the Hawthorne defender and Brand. So he decided to come back at the kicker. It was a great run, wasn't it? And Adam Sard's understandably gone to the pine. <laughs> and we see when Tom Lynch does miss the long shots, they are usually to the, the right, even from other positions on the ground. That's the spot all grounds. Gives it a run, but it won't bend back in time. Gibson's fist wins out. He's always going to go left. Yeah, that's just what I said. They always go right. <laughs> There's Adam Saad. Just cool the turbo down. And how great. You see this week in, week out from Saad. He backs himself. That's what you want to see. Someone back themselves, open up the space in front of him. I mean, stay healthy. He's arguably the best running halfback flanker in the comp, And he? And a, Mark for Lynch. It was a rookie pick. Well, danger there. Handed it off. Still danger. Not again. Hall for three for the quarter. Twenty-four points. The diff. The Hawks are on the ropes here. Two balls on the field. Allowed to go. Rough head stands under it. Aged under it by Thompson. Free kick. And they get some momentum heading into the half. Hawthorne. Rough head wide. Looking for White Cross. Kept it in front, kept his feet. Flicked it to Smith, who does like to run. Hands to Mitchell. Backed into trouble, though. Look at the numbers around the ball for the Suns. It's about six on three. May to Barlow to Martin. One grab, two. Puts it to grass. That ball was going over his head, and he's had a great vertical he can get jump. up, can't he? he can extend. Yeah. He's got long, long arms as well. Great leap. He's pretty tough, too. He's very Goal slowly close. built, but Goal close, no problems with his courage, courage Lynch. I think that's what got him in trouble in his first game when he destroyed his shoulder in a, a big clash. Ablett and Langford battle continues. And look at that, they're just jumping in the gas here, just yep. holding him down, wearing him out. Jared, no. Langford over the top of him, gas. Ten disposals, Gary Ablett. Oh, the there you go here, just a little massage with the left elbow. Wiping the sweat from his brow. So I'm just helping out the great man. You don't get much from elbow to head, do you? Well, flick down. Big couple of moments coming up here in this game. Swallow traps it, feeds it on to Martin, hemmed into the boundary, back again. Hall in the goal square, one on one with Burton. Hall almost. Burton just got a fingernail, and Joyce puts it through for a behind. He's had a big quarter. David Swallow, 12 disposals. Five points as well. Burton long in the McAvoy direction. Wits has had the better of that battle so far. McAvoy slaps it to May though. And he was looking for Ablock missed in ball in. Well, it is for a quarter. Yeah, David Twyla, 12 disposals, eight contested. Hands in the back here at all. Yeah, yeah, Jared, 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 you're up. That's the umpire yeah. to see that one. Two minutes 32 left to half time. Ablett. It's a different Ablett this week. Peter Wright couldn't trap it. Brand does. Gibson, Stratton, the old firm combined. Frawley. He's got White Cross. Set up well behind the ball again, the Sun. So once again, forcing Hawthorne to go back. I try to reset and go the other side. Henderson made it tough for Stratton. Had to go down and get it. Gunston the target, Harbrow couldn't quite pull it in. Just funneled out in the end by Bowles. Long kick. And now Martin in a race. Burton fumbles it out. Good to hear the crowd getting in, calling for a deliberate. <laughs> Very optimistic. Who's up? Good ben. pressure Who's up? Go, from the go, Suns as they go into their forward half. Inside 50s. 31-18, so plus 13 for the Gold Coast. 14 scoring shots to nine. Hey on. Hawthorne getting a ton of players back. Vickery, can you get there first? Saab was always going to beat him, and he knocked it away. 
Thompson the bounce pass. Good flick from Rosa to Saad. Langford. Vickery. Gone. Threw it away. Little flick was good. Barlow got it on the boot quickly. Hodge saves the day as he so often does. One minute left. Hawks got no one ahead of the football here. That's why he has to slow it down. Grand. Working hard. Forced long here. Just into the hands of the Suns again. May should get there. Does crashes it across the boundary. They're one minute away from heading in at halftime the Gold Coast with a 25-point margin. If you've just joined us, this is the biggest margin of the game. They led by six at quarter time. Back into play. They might extend it. Matera. Rosa. And Lynch was held. Yeah, just held, held front position, tried to get off uh, Frawley, but had his arms around the waist. See, just a hold. As soon as you see the arm around the waist, that is a sign to the umpire. That's a holding free kick. Very easy to make uh, that decision. Oh, that two free kicks, James Frawley, in the last two contests against Lynch. And that's, when it, that's when he's at his best, when he wants to own front position, Tommy Lynch. It's a huge kick. For a 31-point margin with barely seconds left to half time. Keeps it low. That's what I meant, I meant Browning. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> he responded to you then, Lynch. You know, he just didn't, didn't hit it sweetly enough. The action looked all right, but just hit the outstep. And that would have been huge for momentum. Got to kick those, especially as a captain. Big pack around this. Thompson from behind. Got it down. Bruce. Little don't argue. Pushed away. Smith takes it out. 16 seconds left. Tough game for Bruce. Uh, he's only had the four disposals, as has Cyril Rioli. So they can't get the small forwards into the game. Sometimes they get them up around the centre of the ground to get them into the game, but it doesn't work for him today so far. Henderson's one of the spares back. Changing with Hodge, he's had the most disposals for Hawthorne with 16. Kicked off the deck by Sexton, got it towards Hall. He's been the danger man. Still lurks as the danger man. Six seconds left. Abla half held. No free. Lions. Can they get a mark? Siren beats them. The Gold Coast Suns have never beaten Hawthorne. And listen to the applause. The fans that have come came for this. Gold Coast Suns response and Gary Abla, one of the stars of the show. Well, 15 hitouts to advantage to Ben McAvoy's two. They've got to fix that part of the game up, Lynch. That's huge. He's at 26 for the first half. 15 to go to advantage is a massive bonus. Lankford still with that job on Gary Ablett. They've been cannoning into Gary Ablett every opportunity, but he's stood tall for his team today. He'll be very determined to finish this one off on a high and grab the four points for his team. Been a massive build-up this week. Second half of the final game of round three underway. Again. Swallow again. He's been dominant. Martin flicks it down. He's been dominant. Barlow's had a good afternoon at the office. Miller turns it over. Hodge. Rioli. Mitchell. Gibson. Rough heads his target. May in a one-on-one. -on -one. Ruffy Hill. Free kick, rough head. Two powerful key position players there. And rough head and Stephen May. Similar builds, actually. Both very strong. Tippin don't uh, break too many records during the pre-season, but you get them on a footy field with a footy in front of them. And they're high-quality athletes. You need to see more of this, thank you. Rough head, one out, uh, deep inside 50. First shot at goal for the evening for the captain, Jared Roughhead. And he slips it through. Perfect start for the second half. For Hawthorne as we head back downstairs to Ben Dixon. It all started with Luke Hodge in the back half. Uh, we know he's played loose man defence, but he held his position, held his position there. He could have retreated. He saw there was enough Hawks putting pressure on through the middle of the ground. This is what he can do. He drew three uh, Gold Coast players then, gave them some space through the midfield, and this is the perfect start to their second half. Yeah, spot on, and notably as well, Rioli and Gibson were involved, and obviously Jared Roughhead at the end. Big, tough contest.
Not sure there was a lot in it, but just two big bulls going head to head. Definitely umpires looking close to those marking contests. Sean Bergon is not now gone as the deep forward for Hawthorne. There's that man Luke Hodge, who's the architect of that last goal. And the restart. Both Ruppen got a piece of it. Abler gets another clearance. Stratton attacked it, flicked it out. Good attack from Martin. Kept it in front. Spins around. Hands it up to Miller. He dropped it. Barlow says it towed away by Brand. Mitchell caught by Ablett. Dispossessed. Outside the boot from Swallow. Oh, through four behind. Good to see the strong tackle from Gary Ablett. Yeah. Involved. That's one of the question marks we've had uh, over the last 12 months. How strong his tackles are. Can he put that left arm out and hold a 90 kilo athlete? Or 110 kilo athlete, depending on who yeah. he's tackling. <laughs> right, Ablett spins beautifully past traffic, looks inside, goes for home himself. And this is to the near side. He wanted to give inside, he's just pointing inside. He did want to give it, and he saw the Hawthorne player peel off and head towards that corridor player. He wasn't going to be a long enough kick either, was yeah. it? Looked, 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 then realised that nah, Hodgie's not going to come, so I've got to have a shot. He's well played by Luke Hodge. Frawley to Wits and McAvoy in that one-on-one. -on -one. Wits knocked it down. Hall, who kicked a couple in the third. Flick back. Smith. Burton. Trouble for Mitchell. Turnover. Matera rolls it with the outside of his boot. And there's your instant reply to the Gold Coast. Yeah, I've liked this part of the Suns game, Lynchy. Brandon Matera's come back in. The worried Alistair Clarks and now the Hawthorne defenders look under pressure trying to get the ball out here but it's because of the Gold Coast Suns pressure you'll see here Matera first and Jack Martin comes up obviously Lynch supports Took Miller's been getting in there as well Lemons has been contesting well seen Ablett slip into the forward line and lay a tackle recently I think this is good though great pressure from the Gold Coast Suns in their forward 50 and Gaz has given a, a fair spray to Luke Hodge after that goal was kicked and Hodge he's come up and just had a little whisper in his ear I'm sure referencing some of the hot topics of the last week no doubt and the ball up Swallow again Barlow again Ablett again Harbrow off the back of the square Lynch crashed Matera might kick two in a row two within 30 seconds for Matera once again, clearance out of the uh, on the back of Jared Wicks. Whether he's getting his hands to the ball and, and providing silver service or just a good contest, that's yeah, good. There's more Suns players here, Lynchy, than Hawthorne. Well, how can Matera have 20 metres spare when that ball went over the pack? Have a look at it on the far side. There's Matera all alone. That is loose checking from uh, the Hawks defenders. That's terrible. Guilty player was Ryan Burton, who's his direct opponent. Ryan Burton was 20 metres the wrong side of Brandon Matera. That's a real mistake there. It's concerning for Alistair Clarkson and be worried about that. And look at the centre clearance dominant by the Suns. Dominance by the Suns. Hawthorne allowed the advantage. Shields plays on over Cookie's pass and it didn't roll out initially. Kept in, May. Done pretty well, really. Ablett, can he get up for this one? Henderson dropped it. Burgoyne, Puopolo. Henderson inside. Good delivery. Gunston. Great option, too. Attempted to blaze away deep to where they're outnumbered, but just pulled the kick. Pokes it to the pocket, and good mark going back with the flight. That was, Jasny. That was good courage by Colin Jasny. He knew the rough head was coming. He's done a handful of really good things tonight. So Martin again to Witt, who's getting off McAvoy. And was allowed to handle it to Martin, who bounce passes it forward to Lynch. They've been terrific tonight at just keeping the ball rolling the Gold Coast. At any stage, all the players streaming past. You can see the wave of those Gold Coast Suns players. It started from half-back with Jared Wish. Just give the hands, get it moving straight away. No time to set up for Hawks. Two goals for the quarter to Matera. Heads to the pocket. Lynch and Stratton. One grab, not the second. Oh, we'll pull it up one metre in from the boundary. Justin Hawthorne put a bit of pressure back on the Gold Coast with the opening goal of the second half. 
Gold Coast have hit back with two of their own. And they've got their confidence up again. Still a little bit going on. Now I'm prepared to just get up off the ground easily. Now the loser of this, rock bottom. Bottom of the AFL ladder. Tell you what, Leachy, it doesn't matter how you are set up around the ball. If you're set up to lose a contested football, you cannot afford to get smashed around the ball. Uh, Hawthorne are nearly 40 down in the contested possession count. That is a worrying sign. That's a huge number. Smother from Smith got in the way. Harbrow flicks it wide. Rosa got his arms free. Back again from Fiorini to Saad, who does the dance. Picks a mongrel inside 50. McAvoy, Brand, Gibson, Burton. And he hits his target, Mitchell. They're out here. They're out over the back if they can go quickly. Shields. He wanted to. Hodge on the open side. He's got Rioli long. Hands it up to Frawley. He's still got Rioli long. Needs to be a good kick. Barlow gets back. White cross. Pass options wide. Maybe a bit too wide. Harbour got a fist in it. May. Call it Jasny. Harbour out. And taken through for a defensive behind his bows. Been outstanding Harbour out today. Back on the side for the Saints. What about the closing speed? It wasn't a great kick, but his closing speed just made sure that he got the spoil in. Rosa on the overlap. Just pops the pass to Lynch. Playing in front, scooped it up. Hawthorne looked terrible here when, when Gold Coast moved the ball of half back, being left behind the Hawthorne players. Peter Wright. That's right. Gary Ablett's out here on his own, boys, so uh, I think he's going to get on the end of this chain. Harbrow to May. May was left free because Smith wanted to shut Ablett down. Fair call. Short pass, turnover. Henderson. Well, he took the step sideways. Matera now comes at him. To Smith. Trouble. He's on his right as well. Ablett about to pounce on Henderson. Got it back to Gibson. Back to Hodge, the saviour. Goes from one back pocket to the other. And they're out. Brand. Gunston can get and go, but he hasn't got a lot forward to go to. Waits for Roughhead to come. Spears at the Shields. And he dropped it. We haven't seen a Hawthorne play this kind of footy for quite a while. Staring at a 0-3 start to the season, and they're unsure of themselves. Hodge wide. Stratton. Again, another disposal to miss the mark. Stratton off the deck. Puopolo. With a man just as quick, if not quicker. Saad, who took him on in the second quarter and burn him off. He did, was taking a few bounces. Right, the big difference is, Lynch, when Hawthorne come out of defence, Gold Coast Suns players up the field are in front of the Hawthorne men, so the Hawthorne players don't have an option upfield. Whereas when uh, Gold Coast exit their defence, their players, their teammates are getting out, running to those open spaces well in front of the Hawthorne players. Ablett to Miller. Rosa sees it roll out. And the speed of the Gold Coast with Saad and Miller. May having a rest at the moment. Saad, 10 games last year only after. He started well but blew that hamstring. He gave it a good test earlier in this game. Through the traffic lines. Right. Sexton held up. Bit of Bob each way. Just looked like he might have been going to play on. Well, Barlow's over the back. Needs to be a good kick. No arm chop free against Frawley. Yeah, 33 points up, yet. Lynch and Wright haven't really dominated. They've provided targets oh, deep, but uh, neither of... Well, Lynch has uh, kicked two points. Wright hasn't scored yet. It was a free kick last year. The body and the arms taken. Ablett lays a good, strong tackle again, testing his shoulders out. It's when he has to reach that he has the problem. Yeah. It's the tackle for the day, Gary Ablett. Vickery, Peter Wright, Shields, turnover, Barlow, Ablett, the old one-two, a mongrel, top of the square, Lynch, awesome grab. Now that's what we've uh, 
been getting used to over the last couple of seasons. One of the best contested marking players in the competition. A super target in the forward half. And just got enough space to get a couple of steps to jump at that contest and very strong hands. Should go back and convert his first goal from his third attempt. For a 39 point margin. This spot all ground, so he's pretty accurate from this spot. Trouble in paradise for Hawthorne right now. In past seasons, they'd break glass and throw Mitchell or Lewis into the midfield. They still have Burgoyne and Hodge. I think maybe their big guns have got to get in there. You know, Cyril's probably one that's got to go in through the midfield as well. But uh, they're just getting smashed in so many aspects of the contest at the moment. And this is a big catch. As I said, three or four steps threw himself in the contest over the back of Gibson. Too big, too strong in front of Frawley. It takes enormous pressure off your team if you can get someone in your forward half to take a big grab like that in a, in a pack. This is where we need to see a big statement from Ty Vickery here. Another poor bounce there from the umpire, but make a statement in the middle. They get a big uh, jump into wits. So if you can hurt him or something, they just need a spark here at the moment. Yeah, that's probably why Jared Roughhead's gone in. Langford Court. Gold Coast have kicked six of the last seven goals of this game. Vickery, half a handball, just got a fist on it. Flick wide, Lions, Hall, Ablett, scoots back inside. Good pick up from Hall, spears it. Lynch on the move. Frawley, second grab from Lynch, couldn't collect it. Rough head, a little fumble. Fresh air shot. Lemons eased him out of it. Matera. Matera's been active in his first game back, Lynch. He? he has. Obviously, he's copped a bit of a rocket by a few weeks in the twos. And he's come back and been... Uh, it's been a very good form in the reserves. Live wire, especially defensively as well. Vickery slaps it wide, but straight to Hall. Dispossessed by White Cross. Stolen by Harbrow on the move. Not a bad kick. It's sailing. It's home. A huge goal. Great work from Harbrow. He's been so good down back with his closing speed on the from a spoiling point of view. They just came into that contest and again. Look at how quickly the Suns players get out there and. Hawthorne players are getting left behind at the moment. Well, they're stationary. The they're walking a lot of them, trailing the Suns players out of that contest. So many around that 50-metre arc. A lot of red Hawthorne jumpers. players all congregated. A lot of red jumpers there, outnumbering the Hawthorne players. They are standing still. And the question marks about Hawthorne's leg speed has been starting to uh, ring louder and louder over the last two weeks. But this... Last 15 minutes is starting to confirm for me, Lynchy, there is definitely a problem with Hawthorne's leg speed. Well, it's even more than the leg speed. It's yeah. actually re reaction time to go from yes. that offensive mindset to a defensive structure and, and spread from that contest. Yeah, whether it's physical or the mindset. Abron, another clearance. They put the hammer down here, the Gold Coast. I'm going to try and wrap this up by three-quarter time. Oh, Hall toes it to his own advantage. Tucked up against the boundary. Unselfish centering of the ball. Could have gone for home. Frawley bumped off it by Martin. Henderson to Langford. Joyce got a short pass option. And they'll pull the trigger, go to lunch. Uh, lunch. Go to Lynch at the top of the goal square. Just probably a bit slow. Need to go five seconds earlier. Martin has three goals to his name. He goes for Ablett. Huge round of applause. Gee, that's well done. What a beautiful way to kick. Yeah, good shot, Martin, but he's kicked three, 14 disposals. He was out of the team two hours ago when we saw him warm up. He could have sent a telegraph on that one. They actually worked in tandem there to get out of the space and open that up for Gary. It was almost like a set play. Crowd hushed. They know how important this is. A couple of skip steps. Struck it pretty well. Goal on par does not move. I asked the question again during the week. He's answered it emphatically. And the Hawks season is well and truly on the ropes here. They've been smashed off the park. 51 points and once again, all of uh, Gaz's teammates have got around him. 
I know it's been a tough week. It's been a tough couple of weeks for the club, but very tough on Gary Abbott. But he's stood up when required, and thanks to a number of his teammates just working hard to That's find right. him some space. That's right. It was great. Well, and found space. Shouldn't have found space in that area, the ground. But no Hawthorne defenders or midfielders. No other Hawthorne players pointing, directing, blocking space. It's very un on like uh, Lynch. Well, similar to the last goal when Harbrow got it, there was too many too many players spectating from the stoppage, similar in that situation as it went inside 50. Eight of the last nine goals of this game to the team on the bottom of the AFL ladder, the Gold Coast. Scrambled to Barlow. Said a good night at the office as well. Flicks it out. Brand. White Cross. Two of the players brought into this Hawthorne lineup this week. O'Meara has hardly seen it. Vickery at full forward now. Dumped away from him. Good trap. Kick around the body is offline from Bruce. When they review this game, Hawthorne, they'll, they'll go back to stoppages. They'll look at the back line. The, the weight of numbers that Gold Coast have had around the board and the support and the shape has been enormous. And that's where the difference has been in the game. When they've fumbled or when they've uh, been in trouble, they've just had the numbers to get out. And when they've get, gotten out, they've just used the ball so well. And this is a rare occasion they haven't used it well, but they still bring the numbers back. Miles almost outside the boundary in the reach of May. Yeah, I read that very well. Rioli yeah. hasn't seen a lot of it either. No, I think need Rioli up into the midfield, just to even get him into the play. Oh, danger. Vickery cuts it off. They need some luck. A fumble again from Shields. White cross. Brand. But we started life as a forward when used as a defender for the Hawks. Maybe they push him forward. Kicks it long. Puopolo stays down in the end. Gunston had a piece of it. Vickery. Rioli just said we haven't seen him. Kicks around the body and misses. He's not having the best night either. The quality of ball movement from the Suns is a true reflection or is a direct result of lack of pressure on the ball carrier. Yeah. And they're just not working hard. We see they butchered the ball last week and didn't work hard. The Suns, very different pressure from GWS. Unfortunately for Hawk supporters, this is a worrying sign. Very slack defensively. This is a horror show right now. 0-3 start they're staring at. Martin. Brandt, front spot, but drops it. Almost an arm drag down by Sexton. Not paid, and I have to repeat myself, but they've not been paying those frees this year. Tuopolo can't keep that in. Shields having a rest. Tuopolo having a rest. Mitchell back Smith. on. Yeah. With Smith and Luke Hodge about to re-enter the arena. In desperate need of their leader, their former skipper, to get back out there. Saad, caught. Throws it away. Burgoyne trucks. Spins beautifully. Kept it alive. To attacking 50. Gunston, that's almost the mark. Took the second grab, caught, dropped it. We've got all the answers right now, the Gold Coast. Hall to the wing. Lynch sets himself. Flick to the back. McAvoy can't get there in time to grab Martin. And they're out again here. This kick's good. They're away. Lynch. Another beautiful kick from Jack Martin. Nicely weighted. And Lyons working really hard to get inside 50. Barlow's down there as well. He's a great kick in play, Jack Martin, is he? Great oh. positional kick. He'd love to be on the enemy as a forward. Because well, he, he doesn't try to kick it through you. Yeah. He waits it out in front. Well, look out. <laughs> Saad, not a bad guy to give it to. To Joyce. Yours. Keeps it low to full forward. Frawley gets back and the mark taken by Brand. This is the area of the game that Hawthorne's really struggling. They just can't get it out of their defensive 50 especially. Well, so at their best, so often we've seen not a bomb like that, but the kick on the 45 that goes 40 metres, hits a target, then opens up the field. Here's the Martin weighted kick. And so you can kick a dart that goes straight through the chest of someone or just weight one beautifully. Very similar to his pass to Gary Abbott inside 50 for the last goal. Right in the ruck, which is having a rest on the bench, is about to come back on. Lines around the body. And off the back of the boot of Lemons almost. And free, all in. This has been amazing from the Gold Coast. An amazing response to two ugly weeks. Plus 40 contested possession, plus 17 in clearances.
So around the footy, they just can't get any ball oh. horse on. Bruce just got it away in time. Gibson loads up to the wing. Smith trying to generate some run, but even he was out of play as he handballed. Six minutes left in the third term. Still an enormous amount of time left in this game. It's a 49-point margin. And you might be watching history unfold here on the Gold Coast. Hawks have never lost to the Gold Coast Suns. They're eight from eight. Gold Coast on track to post their biggest ever score against Hawthorne. Abler. Again kicked off the carpet. Gibson clean missed it. Brown. Abler swoops. Lynch stands under it. Horse get three players back, waiting at the back for an easy crumb. Fiorini. Okay. Oh. Seen this a few times today, Lynch. You were the Suns players have get the ball over the back and running around the goal. It started in the first minute of the game with Gary Ablett. Yeah. Happened quite a few times. And Hawthorne just simply cannot get it out of their back half, especially their back 50. Hawthorne have yeah, won premierships on the back of their good ball movement. But today, just been turnover central for them. How can they have uh, such a Gold lax... Coast is set up really well, put on pressure around where the ball is, then come straight back for a goal. Just three on one. Is that again the key forward dragging opposition into the contest? And more Suns. Left the spare. The more the Suns players getting to the drop of the ball there, Lynch. Oh, they're running harder yeah. all over the field. 55 points. They're not just staring at a loss here, Hawthorne. They're looking at being demolished by the Play bottom on. team on the ladder. Play on advantage. Rosa takes off for all he read it well. And he still dropped it. And now it's trouble again. That's, and that and it's a deliberate free oh, yeah. kick. Goal coach. <laughs> deliberate. That's, that's just off for all his foot. It wasn't out in the full. They played it deliberate there, which is very tough, which <laughs> probably encapsulates their night. Well, if he was intending to try and keep it in, and he wasn't trying to put it out. That's well, it wasn't it hit onto his boot. Yeah, yeah. Well, team deliberate. Well, that's not deliberate or no. couldn't team do any more. Of that. They've got no luck going their way at all at the moment. Hawthorne McAvoy slaps it down, but the wrong place to be slapping it down. Harbrow almost took on the tacklers, but he had no prior. Burgoyne caught. Gibson slow to get up after that contest. Very sore, and you're told about the dominance and clearances and contested ball. The Suns were smashed last week in that aspect of the game. They were minus 34 in contested possessions against the uh, Gold Coast, um, GWS Giants. Line a little wide from Lyons. He keen to get a win. His old team, top of the ladder, undefeated. He's been a good pickup by the Gold Coast Suns, Dwayne. He liked his football. He played some decent football for the Adelaide Crows. He's in the right age bracket as well. He's not an older player. They've got Barlow and Rose in the last couple of years, but Lyons is a younger player. Mate. I think he compliments their midfield pretty well, Lynch. Yeah, you know, Michael Chatelle is out until about May with that knee injury of his. He can't have enough midfielder, midfielders. Well, he's a contested ball player. I mean, he's had his 22 touches, 12 contested possessions. Stop tagging Ablett now as well. Oh, it hasn't worked, so they've got to try something else. Absolutely, they've got to attack. This one's almost beyond them. Harbrow, handball smothered by Whitecross. Stratton inside. McAvoy, and they're looking back before going forward. O'Meara, a wobbler. Rioli, did he knock that on? Giving the benefit of the doubt. Sartre, slick. Rosa, back towards Ablett. Thumped away by Hodge, but again, they've got the numbers. Even on, Barlow, May. Even, even on turnover, they're just fanatical at tr chasing, pressuring. Want that ball back, Gold Coast. Outstanding. Bowes pokes it to a good spot. Top of the square. Clean balls oh, a again. couple. Fiorini. Two behind the pack in two minutes. Sound asleep. And there's been, as we've been saying, there's spot fires all over the ground. Big Tom Lynch and Sean Burgoyne were going at it off the ball. Just about 30 seconds ago, we're starting to get a little bit heated and just run around the ear off from Burgoyne on Lynch. Just a 
try to quieten down the young fella, but again, have a look at this. Fiorini out the back by himself. As easy as you'd like. Amount of Hawthorne players have spent like bees to honey pot them. Suns plays out the back. Once again, just after that goal was kicked, Lynch involved again. And there's plenty, plenty of aggression from the Suns. A lot of frustration from the Hawks. Plays his best footy like that, Lynch, when he's fired up. As long as he doesn't whack anyone, that's the thing. Well, they're getting their egos bruised right now, the Hawks. Gold Coast can smell blood. They want to demolish them here. Burr going out wide. Shields. Henderson, too wide for Puopolo. Slapped out by Joyce. We took Saad with him, yeah. and he hurt him. You can see worse things. Two Suns players crashing into each other. They are both going hard at the ball. I want to see Adam Saad get injured. Well, Joyce has been good as well, but uh, Saad's just such an important player off halfback with his run. Ten goal margin. Smith dances inside, and that sprays wide. He's had a dirty day, Isaac Smith. Just his 11th disposal. Hasn't been able to break the lines at all, Lynchy, today. Won't be driving the bus next week. I wouldn't have thought so. They've got the Cats Easter Monday. The Hawks, it doesn't get any easier for them next week. The Cats are undefeated. So Rioli, nine, along with Roughhead. Smith only the 11 touches, Burgoyne 12. So some of their very best players, quite nights. Langford attacks it. Sexton almost stripped him of it. Mitchell. Saad floated in, rough head, off hands. And they're still alive, thanks to the captain. Finally, the Hawks get an easy one, running into an open goal. The spoil went up there. Adam Saad looked like he had the mark. He was in the box set. He got spoiled by his own man, actually. Didn't call it Jasny, just clashed. Probably a lack of talk there. Clever finish. Well done there by Jared Ruffett. He's he continued on there. He hasn't given up the ghost. Well done. Let's go, one in. One in, boys. And to back it up with another clearance. Roughhead goes straight back into the middle of the ground. Vickery will be in there with Smith and Langford. Can they finish the third strongly? Give themselves a chance. Vickery goes down the layer. Tackle on hands and knees. Wits. Somehow squeezed it out. Martin kept it in front, danced around a couple, gave it to Barlow. Frawley from behind, knocks it down. Lemons gets his chance, showed the ball, sold some candy and drills it. Not even three-quarter time yet, and this is the biggest score the Gold Coast has ever kicked against Hawthorne. As we discussed pre-game, they've never beaten Hawthorne before. And once again, time and space. Abbott was there as well, but we've spoken in the first half. Broken tackles kill teams. One of the great players of all time, Luke Hodge. So he's got a few credits in the bank, but just Lemons was able to get on the inside, brush the Luke Hodge tackle. Had an option of Abbott on the outside, but had enough time. This is a fair Beautiful candy work. Scale. <laughs> candy cell, wasn't it there by Lemons? Big smell cow. <laughs> No, he hasn't had a big day, Lemon's possession was only the sixth disposal. I think his pressure's been good, Lynch. He's been very active in that 450 for the Suns. Holding, advantage. Advantage oh, paid, Vickery. Oh. Not sure Vickery wanted to play on to advantage. No, Hall, Barlow. The umpire just told him he was playing on. Didn't even give him the chance of taking the option. Joyce goes back, Harbrow kicks Mubbard. Burton push forward. And the X forward could be an X factor. Nice. It worked out okay in the end, but corner advantage when the big ruckman was running out of their stoppage with not a lot of ball control as well. I think Jared Ruffhead might be saying to the umpire, don't pay advantage if a ruckman's got the ball. But it worked, it worked out <laughs> all right. That ruling, do you think, Should right? be. Uh, here we go, Saad. Just a good weight of numbers. Put, it was pressure on the ball carrier. Pushed the Suns back with no clean disposals and uh, scrapped one through. That was better. They just haven't been able to get that clearance dominance, aren't they, Have they, where they can push down in waves. The Hawthorne players been few and far between. Few and far between. They're 20 behind in the clearance count. Well, that kicking efficiency reflects the pressure on the ball carrier from both sides. 66% to 51 for the Hawks. They've been one of the most efficient kicking teams of all time. The Hawks. Mitchell gets it inside 50. And they steal another one. Flicked away. Rough head nearly. 
Lovejoy shrugs the tackle. Swallow. Sexton. Crowd Unar bumped on the kick. Peter Wright kept it in front. Hodge comes at him. Wits was a long way down there, but he picked it up. Matera to Ablett. He's got plenty of options out there. Missed all targets, but Miller went and got it. Well, he butchered a kick, but still they had the next three players in there. Ablett again. Has to back his way to trouble. Wits caught. One minute left in the third. Sexton. Sidestep was delightful. Kicks it long. Suns have the numbers. Ball behind him. Matera! He's got another. Oh. That's about the fifth goal from the Gold Coast Sun from the goal square, Lynch. Over the back. Yeah. Look at Sexton and Langford oh. going out of behind play. And not overly happy, Alex Sexton, with the treatment he got earlier from Will Langford. And a few jumper punches there. And... Uh, and just once again, have a look at Barlow, right of screen. He's by himself. He could have got an easy goal there. In the end, running back with a flight. <laughs> a little Wally's boy. He's snuck one through with a good goal. It's pretty extraordinary the amount of Gold Coast Suns players free in their own Ford 50. It's extraordinary how often it's happened. It's hard to believe this is Hawthorne. We're watching Ablett again. Breaks out of the middle. They're not done yet for the quarter. 40 seconds left. Lynch attacked it, got a nudge, he's going to get a free. Yeah, got a push. We've got to remember, this is Hawthorne up against what has been the worst team in the last couple of weeks. Peter you know, Wright gets the free. Well, they're going to give it to Lynch, are they? Well, I, yeah, yeah I, I think, thought it was Lynch. I think Wright wanted it because he's a beautiful kick from 50. <laughs> it was Lynch, just slight nudge, but you're right, uh, Dwayne. Gary Ablett, 14 disposals this quarter. Back to his dominant self. Four clearances, three tackles, so that tackling with Spug about Lynchy. Ablett's been able to lay a couple. It's good to see the intense there, but absolutely. For an 11 goal lead, he likes it. He loves it. Three quarter time, Metricon Stadium. Amazing scenes here. You've never seen it all when it comes to AFL. Team on the ropes. Question being asked all week of the Gold Coast Suns. They have responded in the best possible fashion. And they lead by 66 points at three-quarter time. Four straight goals to the Hawks, no score. So this is really where it started for the Hawks. Now, Wits' is dominance in the middle. He's been able to give some clear hits to his Gold Coast Suns midfield. This is a great sign. First bounce, clearance, straight to Gary Ablett. Got the ball out. So tossed in the air. The umpires have given up bouncing. They've had too many bad ones. They tossed it in the air to start this final quarter. Didn't help Hawthorne. Gold Coast get the clearance oh, again. Sard to Rosa. Hold oh, out. Sard. Can go back if he wants to, and he does want to. Early to take time off the clock, but they have this game on their own terms. Bows. May to go and get it, and it rolls out of play. They messed that up, but it's not a free kick. It's got his intention to keep it in. So, uh, Dwayne, just got to be careful. The, the Gold Coast Suns, they don't slow the play down too much. They, of course, they want to be able to control the tempo, uh, but don't go completely the opposite. Otherwise, Hawthorne will be able to get back into this game. Rose's handball smothered by Shields. Wobbles one inside 50. Gunston, who's barely seen it, sees it roll out. Rocket Eagles still want to see some positive Dying ball movement. Lynch to carry on into next week. Of course, they're going to win this game, but quite often uh, your last quarters of games uh, will, will reflect on how you'll go the, the following week, especially in that game. Gunston goalless for the season. Three behinds today through the legs of Wits. Harbrow lays the tackle. Smith fends off Fiorini, pokes it to full forward through the hands of Burton. Thompson. Yours now. Gibson could swallow this. He went from behind. Wright had a piece of it. Oh, well done from Young Bowes. Just 
soaked up the tackle. Right. It opens up for them ahead of the ball. Rioli's playing behind the ball at the moment. Barlow rolled it through his legs. Lynch, for all he thought he was going to turn outside, he turned inside to Hall, who pops it to right. He's on the Rose Brandway here. He's got the journey without a problem. To kick from probably just on the 50, That's just right. outside the 50. Beautiful long kick. Looks like he's not even considering anyone in the corridor. Has not looked in board at all. Yep. He's one of the few sons who hasn't got a goal yet this afternoon, and the crowd enjoying it at the moment. Oh. It's right. It's not bending back enough. Stayed in the field of play. No, jumped through Don't after through, it went across the line. 113 to 46, and there's worse signs for Hawthorne Puopolo going down to the rooms. That's not good at all. Burgoyne straight down the middle. Got to take it on now. White cross. Open forward line. Smith could go all the way. He didn't know that Bowes was sneaking up on him. Well, he looked forward and saw Rory Thompson was protecting deep 50. He was goal side of his direct opponent. So he thought he'd better duck back inside, but didn't have the time and all the space. Jasny, I'm not sure he'd actually played on there, did he? What oh, a look side he did. Was about it. <laughs> Didn't know you could get called player for thinking about it. Hall. Miller. Rosa, if he wants him. Oop. Bruce comes at him. Crunch. Thumps it down. Smith, again, he's going to have to wait Ruffy. for Ruffy. Puts it out in front of Ruffy. There's a race on. Thompson got there too spread. quick. Leg spread. 200, 200 centimetres. That is very quick. He found another gear. And outside of the boot to Barlow, and he wins the free for having his arm chopped in the marking contest. Ruffy's not slow. No. <laughs> Thompson uh, went past him there. He started probably two or three metres behind him. And when he played uh, at his best a couple of uh, seasons ago, as that uh, spoiling fullback, his closing speed was his great, or is his greatest asset. No, Rocket, Rocket gets a little bit nervous in this situation when he has to kick it, especially yeah. if he looks for the short option. They both the key defenders have got good closing leg speed. Yep. Him and Stephen May. Barlow and Bruce. Barlow did well in the end. He had two against him. Wits, who's had a fantastic afternoon, as has Swallow. Lions back inside. Rosa. Wits. And Stratton should mark this straight through his hands. Shields, McAvoy, Gibson was under pressure before he took it. Oh, free kick in the back. Sometimes uh, the uh, Melbourne sides can struggle with the humidity up here. Lynch, it's not really a humid day. The Northam players seem to have fumbled a lot, especially when they've been out on their own. I know there's been good Gold Coast Suns pressure, but a few times when they've been out in the clear, the Hawthorne players have fumbled, and that's upset their ball flow. Rodney Ed looked a little calmer. Third season as the Gold Coast Coach. Always risky that. Frawley did well. Play on you. Rodney has been under pressure all week. Play on. Amazing response. Thompson in a race. O'Meara. Hasn't been an enjoyable homecoming for him. Whitecross. His first game back hasn't been great. Play on. Burgoyne to Rioli. Smith within range. Gibson. From outside the 50, he's got plenty of it. On the line, rough hit. A yeah, good build up. Well done, switching the play back. And good uh, run from Gibson from half back to get that ball into Ruffy. Just drifted across the front. Good contested grab. Doesn't stop trying, Ruffy. It's his second. Third goal there by Ruffy. Good effort there. He's. he's uh, He's played a, a bit of a mixture, Lynch. He's played a little bit in the centre square. But played forward there. Nice double back. Stephen may be disappointed by that. He should have blocked Jared Ruffhead and not allowed him to get behind. It's poor defender's craft. Stephen may will be disappointed when he goes to look at his review of the game. He's done most things of the game really well. There's the ladder. One in. One in. It's a rare sight. Hawthorne with zero points. After three games. Bottom of the AFL ladder. 
Yeah, and it's not just the fact that they started the season like this. It opens up a lot of questions about where they're headed for the rest of this year. There's David Swallow getting up off the bottom of the pack there. He's now had an outstanding game. 29 disposals. Here they go again. Nine clearances as well by Swallow. Hall. That was messy. Arbrow. Collar Jasny. Miller. Paid the mark. Downfield, in fact. Free kick downfield against Hodge. Oh, look at the space. Bowes. Sexton. Peter Wright. Thorley takes the mark. Mitchell. White cross. Just to continue on with David Swallow, there's been a lot of talk about his possible move to Melbourne. You remember, just before Christmas, he, he extended his contract sign for another two years. And uh, he's shown that he's a very, very good player with his footy club. Now he's back. This is his first game at Metricon Stadium since July 2015. He's second overall since that time. So great effort to see him up to 29 touches. Shields played on. Rioli. Chance for a bit of late magic. Shorts it. Rough hit for number four. Jared Hardbrow looking around saying, come on, boys. What am I doing on uh, Jared Roughhead? Where's the help? And that was very different forward 50 in entry, and that's why probably Harbour was a bit concerned with the upfield pressure. That was the easiest that they've uh, come into their forward 50. Nice little pass to Ruffy. You would have thought from this spot, all grounds would have had more shots than just the six. Been around a while, Ruffy. 234 games now. That's across the face. Needed five today to hit the 500 mark. Three as it stands right now. Jared Roughhead. That was a good draft, wasn't it? It was a Franklin and Roughhead to Hawthorne. One approaching 800 goals, the other approaching 500. Vickery forced to punch. I remember we played him down here, and I think it was 2006, Lynch. He may have been the first year. Uh, the skinny kids, Roughhead and uh, Buddy Franklin, we blew him off the park, but you just knew they were going to turn into superstars. And they uh, put a bit of weight on those uh, those bones. Ablett and Swallow combine. Rioli thumped away from him. Rose the court high. Free kick. Even in the latter part of this last quarter, you look how hard the Gold Coast Suns are still running. Uh, Hawthorne disappointed with their effort tonight, but they're just uh, dictating in all areas here, Gold Coast. Outstanding performance to get their season back on track. May. Bruce put the pressure on him. Gunston. Gibson. Roughhead stands under it. Mitchell jumps in. May. Powerful contest again between Roughhead and May. Martin turns outside. Joyce. Rose has had a pretty good afternoon as well. Yeah, good. You mentioned earlier in the game, Joyce's composure. Just a nice little weighted 25 metre kick to Rosa. Yeah, he's only 16 disposals. have been very solid back there in defence. We've just seen a shot of the Hawthorne bench. Still only three on the bench. So Paul Piopolo still in the rooms getting assessed for uh, an unknown injury at the moment. But hopefully that's not too serious for the Hawks. Well, if there's any concern whatsoever, which there obviously is, you wouldn't be bringing him back out. Just put him on ice. Reassessed during the week. Big numbers by the Suns midfielders. We've got six players over 25 disposals. They're all their leading midfielders. <laughs> Notably, Gaz has hit the 30. Yeah. <laughs> Swallow and Gaz, the two at 30. We've got Barlow at 29. We spoke to Alice the class in pre game. He mentioned that he might put someone on, little Gazza, if he gets plenty on it. And in the end, I'm sure Alice Clarkson didn't know that they were going to be spanked like this. Away here. Open side. Barlow. Brand comes at him. Barlow flicks it to himself. He has to get his 30. Dwayne, that's, that's why. <laughs> Sexton. Miller. He wants his 32. Right. Rose are off the deck. Fear any shrug. Material. Any higher. Cody would have missed him. Bounced up. 
doesn't hurt him, that's for sure. He's been good, Matera. He's been lively. Right from the get-go, Lynchy. He was all over the field. He's going for his fourth goal now, but it's been the energy and liveliness around. He hasn't necessarily had a huge day tackling-wise. Only the two tackles, but it's that perceived pressure he's put on the horse on defenders when they bring bringing out defence. Thank you. 15 gone. Three goals in the third term. If you weren't with us for the third term, it was a 10-goal quarter for the Gold Coast, one of their biggest quarters ever. He's got four in his first game of the year, Brandon Matera. Yeah, impressive return. And we've said it all day. It's on the back of dominance through the midfield. So he's had one-on-one -on -one situations. He's worked hard defensively himself to those repeat efforts to give himself a chance. And Barlow, been a handy recruit. Wasn't sure whether he'd go straight into their best team, but had a fantastic JLT series, racking up 30 positions on the, a couple of occasions. And there's the high contact free kick to Matera. He's um, plenty of question marks about the future of Brandon Matera as well. See his day, big third quarter with three goals, and uh, round off a very good day with his fourth and the last. Rough head in the middle, Ablett got a hand on it, Burgoyne slaps it down. Shields, oh, dumping tackle. tackle by Harbrow, but it was not holding the ball because he released the tackle. Harbrow off the deck, Hodge, pass Henderson, Hall, left it behind. Smith. Vickery stands under it. Can't mark it. Gathered his own crumb through Hodge's hands. And no end of back free. That tells the tale of his day. And Smith hacks it to the goal line. And once again, I've got a number back there. Sexton. Matera. The Vickery handball was just too hot for Hodge. It was only a couple of moves. And Smacked it through. I yeah, still reckon it's been a big problem though, Lynchy, uh, for the all time players today. They're just uncharacteristic fumbles. Move it on! Play on! Go! It's amazing to see Hawthorne torn apart like this. Lynch attacked that nicely. It's hard matchup, Tommy Lynch, even though he hasn't had huge numbers, he always brings the ball to the front. Thank you. Paul Pluopolo is back onto the bench there. So he's carrying an injury. His day's done. Yeah. He ejected. Mentioned the Hawks have Geelong next week, Easter Monday. Gold Coast have the Blues, who also won today. So the winner of that, I think they're well and truly in contention it is for a good season. Big win Huge for the Blues. I rested them. Had some decent footy last week against Melbourne. The Blues, they went down by 20 odd points. They've come back with a win. Smith flicked that straight to Rosa. You can't bounce for Lynch, but Lemons pounced on it. Matera sniffing another one. Played for the free, didn't get it. Martin flicks oh, it over. Hands. He might still get it. It's a freak show right now. It's hard to believe the scoreline. Just great hands. Jack Martin. Lemons was involved as well. Flicked over to Brandon Matera. Probably got his one of his easy. He's had a couple of goals over the back. But uh, as you said, Lynch just always goes up at the ball. But this is good hands here. Matera involved on a couple of occasions. Just stays in the contest, keeps working forward. Great composure, great weighted handball from Jack Martin. To see this uh, each week, the uh, so it's not so much these numbers from Matera Lynchy, but it's his work rate and his effort. You know, he's been spotted in the back pocket at times, he's been buzzing all over the field, and that's what Rocket would be looking for from Brandon Matera from a week to week basis. And that's part of the frustration, I think, for, for Brandon or for people that are watching Matera and the Suns. You see parts of it, you see sparks, but week to week, something that hasn't been consistent. Over the last couple of weeks, the uh, disposal up? count's been negative Thanks, six man. against Hawthorne. Today, they're down 124 touches. That is a massive smacking. 448 to 315. That's probably the reason. Top five disposal winners on the ground. All Suns. Hello, Court. Matera again. This will be for number six. We can't get away from it at the moment. Everywhere. He was just standing there, 20 metres from the contest, by himself, 
and a uh, scrap Brandon kick forward just lands straight on his chest. Another metre, Brennan. 14 goals was the Gold Coast's highest ever goal tally against Hawks coming into today. They've never beaten Hawthorne. This is for number 20 for the evening. And for Matera, it's for number six. Never in doubt. What a night. Yeah, huge night. Great celebrations for the crowd that have turned up. 14,500 here at Metricon Stadium on a beautiful Sunday night to see their team hopefully respond after two very ordinary efforts. There's the Barlow scrap kick forward and just tumbled onto Brandon Matera's chest and finished off his work very nicely. As a small forward, you've got to convert your half chances and that was a uh, good chance to rack up six. Hasn't always been Rodney Ed's favourite player. Play? Nope. And you'll see David Swallow just here, he's getting a test on his right hamstring. So he did a couple of the uh, stock standard hammy tests, but it's the right one. He's up and down the boundary line, so hopefully that's not bad news. That'll be the only dampener for the Gold Coast tonight. I'm sure he's just leaving off, I think, now. Cotton wool now. You can play the remainder out with 16, 17 men if you need to. Yeah, after the tough couple of years he's had. Right. We'll look out. Sends it long. Fisted away. To look around to see where Matera was. Well, set up for Jack Martin to take mark of the year. He's lurking. He'd stepped it out, hadn't he? <laughs> yeah. He's ready to go. There we see Swallow. Looks like he may be coming back out onto the field. So obviously no real concerns. Good smother. Henderson rolled by Miller in the tackle. This season back on track here. The Suns got Carlton, as I said, Carlton next week, then Adelaide back up here. You might get more than 15,000 in a couple of weeks when they get the Adelaide Crows here, especially after this performance. Stratton got it from Henderson. Hodge, a tough night at the office for him again. Joyce faked the handoff. Lemon steps inside. Missed Abbott. Bergon through Hodge's hands. Little toe poke. Abbott hunts it down. Rosa, clean pick. Saad pokes it back. And I'll reset. Call it Jasny. Bowes. Hall. It's going to be a percentage bursting win for the Gold Coast, not just a win. It could be their biggest win. That's a free kick to Jack Martin. Their biggest win ever. Just see if they play on there. 83 points against the Giants in 2013. They currently sit at 79 points. On. On. Speed oh. pass. And it's amazing how they're picking Hawthorne apart. I oh. believe that they wouldn't have blocked up that gap. And Miller now a chance to kick another. That was straight up the corridor. Most dangerous spot on the field. And they had... Uh, at least 20 seconds to set up defensively. I think uh, by the look of it, they had about 14 or 13 players in the defensive 50 Hawthorne. Yet Miller could just waltz out and take an easy mark on the lead. And the party continues. So Mr. C. Looking forward to seeing the replay here. The Snowhawks players looking around directing each other into that space. Let's have a look now. Ben McAvoy put his hand up, but just in lead. preservation mode now, the Hawthorne uh, players looking at their own men. This fellow took me on. This is <laughs> unbelievable. He's thinking, hang on, there's a gap here. <laughs> Couldn't believe his luck, could he? He finally put his arms up, but he realised there's no one around me. He thought someone was going to pop up, surely. It's been a great pick-up. Took me over the last couple of years. Very, very good player in through the midfield. I mentioned signed until the end of 2019, so showed confidence in him and he's shown confidence in this team. Harbrow <laughs> tried to shake and bake, dropped into a high one, no free these days. Lions, Saad, Harbrow, they're enjoying their evening at the moment. Every Gold Coast son having some fun. For a change. Lynch held and this 
is shaping as their biggest ever victory as a club. Not just a demolition job on Hawthorne, not just their first win ever against Hawthorne. After Hawthorne have been 8-8 eight and eight against them all time. But as Alistair Lynch said, 83 points is their greatest ever win in the history of the club. This to push it to 91 points, the margin. Sneaking back. Hit the post. He kicked some no problems from 50. Lynch, he does it. He's got the leg now, Tom yep. Lynch. He's developed that over the last two seasons. Good technique as well. He kept the drop zone in front of him. He's boxed on pretty well, Lynch. He's up to the 17 disposal. I know they've had a fair bit of service, but it's been a good battle between him and James Frawley all day. This will be one of the biggest hidings Alistair Clarkson has overseen as well. He's coach of the Hawks, and he's been, as I mentioned earlier, an icon. He's going to pass John Kennedy Sr. later this year. John Kennedy Sr., three premierships and 299 games coached. Alistair Clarkson, four premierships. We'll move past him later this year as the greatest Hawthorne coach of all time. Oh, this is a big black eye for him and his team. Hall breaks away from attack. Miller, his target, in the middle of two. Oh. Crunched, holding his head. Got smashed in that contest. Gibson back inside. Stratton. Smith. Shields. But no one's ahead of the ball here. Burton has to wait. You go middle, Gunston. Roughhead gets forward now. Just sits it on the head of Rioli. McAvoy's the runner out wide. Smith, who can go if he wants to. Looks up. Sits it up for Roughhead in a one-on-one. -on -one. Lemon stuffed it away. And almost deliberately out of play it is. I saw Roughhead slapping it out deliberately. Some nice things, Lemons. That was a good effort there against Jared Roughhead. It's only had the nine disposals, but a lot of his work off the ball's been good. He's deliberate now against Jared Roughhead. Didn't make it enough and effort to keep the ball in, as the new rule is interpreted. You're right with Lemons. He's a very handy player. Actually... Well, that was deliberate too, by the way. Yeah, that's fair enough too. Spent a bit of time in the forward half over the last couple of weeks, but played the rest of his career down back. Burgoyne about to set it up. Top of the square. Vickery almost pulls down a consolation prize. Langford, Burton, O'Meara. Last in the Gold Coast want is Jagger O'Meara getting a goal. Kick one earlier. And they've kept him to a very moderate evening. 14 possessions only, and a goal for the ex-son. Massive congestion around it. Burgoyne! Really poked it through. Don't go! scoring shots to, to 18. Goes just got a couple of cheapies down back here now. He deserves them. Well, he does. He's had to work very hard. 14 of his 33 have been contested. Got the very first clearance of the night. Probably been the biggest week of his career, I would have thought, Gary Abbott. Uh, the, the biggest biggest scrutiny on him. The biggest question marks. No doubt about that. Rodney Ed did tell us pre-game that he still holds hopes of Ablett being here next year. They'll do absolutely everything they possibly can to make it work for Gary Ablett. I think he's been... He has been the shining light in the first four years, no doubt. Then he's had a few injury interrupted in the seasons. Hall oh, trying to burst away. I think they're a bit spent right now. Langford, Mitchell, Smith. And Shields tried to chest mark it. Joyce. Mr. Lynch and Jonathan Brown been singing the praises of Joyce all evening. Ablett wide to Sexton. Sexton as well. Oh, One Gaz is uh, fattening up here. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's just knocking okay, him up. 36. That's 36. <laughs> as you said, Dwayne deserves every uncontested ball. Well, he's still working hard. That's to get into position. Lemons. Who does he want? I'll take your pick in the corridor. Again. Lynch, Matera. 
Obala. Matira, a little bit upset that he did. <laughs> Bala coming out for 34. Uh, what a day, Abbott 36. Swallow 33 and Bala 33. Aaron Hall up to 30, so it's been an absolute demolition. Two goals as well to Hall and Ablett each. So it will be their greatest ever victory in their seven years in the AFL, the Gold Coast. Siren's about to sound. Biggest win regardless of what happens with this kick. Crowd rise. The Gold Coast are back. Biggest ever win. First ever win against Hawthorne in the history of the club. A history-making night, regardless of how you look at it. And a disappointing start to 2017 for Alistair Clarkson and his men. They're bottom of the AFL ladder. Zero and three after three. Two stories in front of you here. The resurrection of the Gold Coast and the demolition of the Hawks.